الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعد أما بعد from the book of Imam Ibn Rajab al-Hambali the excellence of knowledge which is the translation of بيان فضل العلم السلفي على علم الخلف so Imam Saf said وقال مالك that is Imam Malik رحمه الله he says أدركت أهل هذه البلدة that I have met the people of this city, which is Medina, which is Medina to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the scholars there, or ulama there, وَإِنَّهُمْ لَيَقْرَهُونَ مَا هَذِي الْأَكْثَارِ الَّذِي فِيهِ النَّاسُ الْيَوْمِ They would abhor, they would hate, they would dislike excessive involvement in, modern, in the two days, according to his time. So Imam Malik's time, so people have spent too much time talking about those trivial issues. So he said that scholars, ulama of this city would abhor, would hate this excessiveness in which we find the people today. Juridu al Masail. He meant, he intended, Masail means in this, Hadal Ikthar, Alladhi fihi al Nas, that they did not like, what did they not like? Talking too much about the trivial issues, the masail, the issues. وَكَانَ يُعِيبُ كَسْرَةَ الْكَلَامِ وَالْفُتِيَةِ وَيَقُولُ And he used to censure excessive speech and giving fatwas. And he would say, وَيَقُولُ يَتَكَلَّمُ أَحَدٌ كَأَنَّهُ جَمَلُ الْمُغْتَلِمُ You guys speak as though, as though, like they people, those who give fatwa for little trivial thing here and there, without having the ability and qualifications. So he said they speak like, as if they were a lascivious camels, naughty camels, you know, lustful camels, who just want to just keep going without, you know, any, any interruption. And they would say he is this and they are there, it is wrong and that is haram and this is whatever, they just keep giving fatwa, fatwa here and there, whoever they find, or oh, he's wrong, his prayer is not accepted, they are deviant, they are this and they are that. Kalami, And it goes on the tongue. They just keep saying things like that. They're very reckless with their speech. And he would dislike the, to give the answer for in what people would ask a lot of questions and he would dislike responding to those subtle and silly questions. قال الله عز وجل الله سبحانه وتعالى سيد ويسألونك عن الروح قل الروح من أمر ربه They ask you, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم about the soul say that the soul is, in my, Lord, is my Lord's concern this is Allah's command فلم يأتي في ذلك جواب and Allah سبحانه وتعالى didn't give any answer to this وقيل له it said to them to him الرجول يكون عالما بالسنن يجادل عنها when it is said to someone asked about this, he said, a person who has knowledge of sunnah, should he argue in order to defend it? Qala la. Imam Malik said no. Walakin yukhbiru bis sunnah. Rather, he just give them information about sunnah. They just narrate the hadith and move on. Fain qabila minu. If they accept it, that's good. Wa illa sakat. This is if they accept it, Fine. If not, then stay quiet. وَقَالَ And then he said, الْمِرَاءُ وَالْجِدَالُ فِي الْعِلْمِ يَذْهَبُ بِنُورِ الْعِلْمِ Fighting and argumentation, debates in shari knowledge, in ulumuddin, it hardens, obviously what it does, it just takes away the knowledge. It takes away the light of knowledge. And you say, الْمِرَاءُ فِي الْعِلْمِ يَقْسِي قَلْبًا يَخْسِي الْقَلْبَ وَيُرِسُ الدَّغْمِ He said, and arguing and disputing about knowledge hardens the heart and breeds cursing, ضَغْم وَكَانَ يَقُولُ فِي الْمَسَائِلِ الَّتِي يُسْأَلُ عَنْهَا كَثِيرًا And he would say about the matters people would ask a lot of questions about لا أدري He said, I don't know وَكَانَ الْإِمَامُ أَحْمَدْ And Imam Ahmad ibn Humbal يَسْلُقُ سَبِيلَهُ فِي ذَلِكَ he tread the same path. He followed the same way. 
وقد ورد النهي عن كثرة المسائل وأن أغلوطات أغلوطات المسائل and there has been narrated certain prohibitions about excessive questioning and about the trivial matters وأن المسائل قبل وقوع الحوادث وفي ذلك ما يطول ذكر and also about the issues which has never happened yet. So arbitrary question, the questions like, you know, created potential issues that may happen. So the question which might unfold in future, they haven't happened yet, but I just want to know why it's wasting your time. They would not like it. ومع هذا النفي ومع هذا ففي كلام السلف والأئمة كمالك والشافعي وأحمد وإسحاق التنبيه على مأخذ الفقه. However, despite all this, there does occur in the words of Imam such as Imam Malik, Imam Shafi, Imam Ahmed, Imam Ishaq a clear indicator to the sources of jurisprudence and the intellectual basis of the divine law ومدارك الأحكام وبكلام وجيز مختص يفهم به المقصود من غير إطالة ولا إسحاب. So they would definitely clarify the use fiqh because fiqh is a very important subject and topic through which you understand Quran and Sunnah. But without undue difficulty, it's talking about the you know, subtleties, going overboard with certain things that you're not going to be required to know or practice on. It's a personal choice. من رد الأقوال المخالفة للسنة بألطف إشارة وأحسن عبارة. The words also contain a refutation of those who oppose the Sunnah, phrased in the nicest of words and composed in the best of ways. بحيث يغني ذلك من فهم ومن فهمه أن إطالة المتكلمين في ذلك بعدهم. And it is for those, the person who understands them is left in no need of comprehending the laborious discussion on the speculative theologian when they try to do the same. بل ربما بل يتضمن تطويل الكلام تطويل كلامهم من بعدهم من الصواب في ذلك ما تضمنه كلام السلف والأئمة مع اختصاري وإيجازه. The lengthy and laborious discussion could be completely devoid of any of the correctness that is found in the concise statements of the Salaf and Imams. So they would make it very easy, simplified, not too much nuanced discussion to waste time. That was the way of the Imams of the past. So we just leave that there. <laughs>